Hey everybody! So, today we are going to look at my plants. I am starting a whole little goth garden that I'm super excited about. Now, normally I have a black thumb, no pun intended, and I kill all my plants. And, hold on, let me... Okay, and so, nor I was watching Anna Donut Wolf. So, normally... I kill all my plants and I started this whole little garden and it's going beautifully I'm so excited and I have a lady who's kind of mentoring me on how to she takes care of her plants and gets them to grow exponentially and she says that it just that if I follow what she does then my plants should just explode that her plants that she has to uh, trim them down often and that she runs out of space really fast and she has to sell off the babies and well she sells the bigger plants and keeps the babies because they grow so fast for her so I have asked her questions she sent me everything that she does for her plants so I'm waiting on the plant food that she that she uses and suggested and so I'm excited about that she uses a, some stuff called liquid dirt and I'll put the link down in there. I, since I don't have very many plants, I'll show you in just a minute. I just got the trial size, which should, which should last me a while. And so what you do is, there was also a YouTube video of a guy and he does an experiment where he shows us the different dilutions of it. And it's really cool. So I'll link that one down below too. But um, Oh, so uh, so liquid dirt, and it's she says it works miracles, and everything I've read on it, like all the reviews, everyone says it's great. And then she also uses a um, a root booster type thing. It's I'll list that link down below. Let me see if I can find it real quick. And there's a this, and so with both these products, you mix about one to two milliliters worth into a gallon of water so the girl that has been mentoring me she every time she waters she mixes one milliliter of the root care and two and a half milliliters of the liquid dirt into a into for every gallon and then she waters her plants and that's every time she waters. oh and she also doesn't use tap water or even like regular like Brita filter she doesn't use that either she uses bottled water or like higher up filtered water and like um what is it like a Berkey type filter system so she said because of all the extra additives and everything that's in tap water that it's not good for your plants so I bought I bought bottled water for my plants I bought the stuff which should be coming in next week and I'm just excited and so I'm gonna show you guys my plants because I also bought a glow or a grow not glow a grow light bulb and put it in my little lamp and I want to get another one because my plants are doing well and so I'm excited so here we go so there's my air plant isn't it beautiful yeah, I have to figure out where I want to put it. My mentor gave me these succulents right here. They're so pretty. And then there's my moss. Now there's a moss guru guy, and he's amazing. Just absolutely love his stuff. And yeah, he does. I have to follow his directions exactly because I didn't. So I'm going to take this out and follow his directions. There's my purple passion. She's beautiful. You see the little hairs are purple. Mm -hmm. And then I have these guys that are supposed to be super rare. And I'm trying to get their um, the roots to grow. And there's my Azola. Yeah. And there's my Black Mondo. It's a grass root that's really good at purifying the air and stuff. I have a second one over here. And it starts off with this dark dark green, light green, but as it gets bigger and older, it gets darker. 
so it almost turns like a purple black that is going to be my white strawberries and white strawberries are supposed to taste like pineapple so i'm excited to see that happen so there's my white strawberries and there's my succulents and i started these from seeds so you see there's a couple little little ones coming in popping out so this is a sand rock potting soil mixture and those are my plants right there and that's all the space I have right now so hopefully I can get these guys to grow we'll do an update on them soon um, I don't really have much to tell you actually that's kind of dry that that needs to be watered so they, my mentor said that the um, biggest problem is over watering plants I think my biggest problem is under watering but like I said I'm gonna use the bottled water and I'm waiting on the all the plant food and fertilizer and stuff and all those links will be down below so that's cool and I'll also list all the YouTube videos and stuff that I've been following to try and help me the moss guru guy he has tons of terrariums that he does and I'm, that's what I'm hoping to do with this moss I want to make a eco terrariums for my friends for Christmas so I'm really need that to grow and the azola I read somewhere that like it takes out a lot it's very purifying and for like the air and stuff in the environment so I have purifier purifier fun food beautiful beautiful I love succulents succulents are actually my favorite plants so that's why I have so many succulents here if you go on my Facebook page, I bought these seeds for my birthday, and you'll see that post. And they are supposed to be beautiful. I'm just hoping I don't kill these seeds. <laughs> and the air plant, I always thought they were so cool, especially this one. This guy is supposed to get, like, huge. Just huge. So all of these plants, I either found or bought off Facebook Market. So this was a Facebook Market, face, Facebook Market, Facebook Market. These were given to me by my mentor. These, I, f it was Facebook Market. That one I actually found. I think a homeless person dug through the containers in my city, which have black mondo grass, and just left that like on the middle of the street <laughs> in a crosswalk, you know? So I picked that baby up and I brought it with me because I was like, well, I'm doing these plants anyway, so. But it kept falling over, which is why the seashells are in here, is because it kept falling over. So I have the seashells there to hold its roots down so it doesn't fall over anymore. But yeah, mm, I really want to start some terrariums and stuff. So these are my plants. There's my glow lamp. Well, I got the lamp for five bucks off Facebook Market. The bulb, I'll also list. I did, I looked online and they said the top 10 grow lights of 2020 and that light bulb was in it. it was on the list and it was like 11 bucks 10 and 10.99 on amazon so i'll list that below so i'll i'll i have to list the youtube the moss guy uh the light bulb and there's a few others right i'll remember them as i list them and they're really cool so i hope you guys continue to watch and I, hopefully I won't kill my plants I think I have to add more water or find a bigger container for them because they're not growing like it's supposed to it's supposed to just like pow and it's not but oh and this has to be watered I think so but yeah so though like I said once again those are my plants I'm doing my best um Oh yeah, it's the the Amazon stuff, so it's the light bulb, the liquid dirt, and the root thing. And I'm going to write how much of each you're, you're supposed to put in the gallon. Uh, she said bottled water and the moss dude and the tutorial I followed on how to grow the seeds. So that's my plants, so I hope you guys enjoy. 
this video and um subscribe below if you like it i did my makeup today because every time i look at my videos i'm like oh my gosh i look so much older <laughs> and i understand i'm in my mid 30s and i'm okay with that but i thought you know doing my makeup will make me look a little more professional on my page so i i'm also in my older videos you guys there's pictures there's an opening picture of um, my tattoo and the name of my channel is in Blanity forever which is what the 8 sign it's supposed to be the infinity sign so it's the Blanity inf infinite um, so I'm going to be taking more pictures of myself to put on the opening page so next week will be the opening page and then um, a better video so but I just wanted to show my plants because I'm excited about them I'm in love with my whole little plant setup <laughs> and so I can't wait till they start growing and doing great and I can actually start putting them out and stuff and have more grow lights I did see on the moss guys page that he actually did a desk with the plants inside the desk and I'm like yes I need to do that but I don't have the space here to do that. So hopefully when I move into a bigger place, which is kind of what I'm looking for, is a place that either has an outside area where I could do more crafty stuff. But I want to make a desk with my plants in it. So I'm also going to probably have to look into buying like the strips, the grow strips. So that would be another thing. <laughs> so yeah, this, that's... This is me. So, see you guys later. Subscribe below. Comment. Oh, um, I'm going to do a shout out to Scarlett. Hey, Scarlett. I love your grandma. Like, I know you do. She's an amazing woman. And you are a great little girl. And I hope you have a happy Halloween. And I also want to shout out to my niece, Bat. Hi, baby Bat. Uh, I love you, Mwah, and I hope to see you next year, and we have a great time. You're so cute, and if you guys didn't know, the niece I'm shouting out to right now is the one I'm making, that I'm supposed to be making the coffin backpack for, but my freaking sewing machine went on the fritz, so I have to either take it apart and figure out what's going on with it, or buy a new sewing machine, so that's a whole other thing, but coming up in the next couple videos... We're going to talk about putting, adding spikes to our stuff because I'm a huge spike person and I add spikes to everything. And some spikes have fallen off a pair of my favorite shoes that I wear every day, my everyday shoes. And I need to add spikes to my exercise shoes and my beanie. So we're going to do a whole spike video. We're also going to, I'm also going to show you guys how I do my nails. And I'm also going to be doing a revamp of my uh, love seat. It's my throne, but my dogs kick me off. But I have a whole thing planned for that. So, stay tuned. Keep watching. You guys are amazing. I'll see you later.